Hi everyone, Katie here. Welcome back to another layout video. Today I am working with um, two pictures from my recent trip to the beach. And these are actually of a uh, jellyfish that washed up on shore while we were um, sitting on the beach. And it happened to be a man of war jellyfish, um, which are, have an incredibly powerful sting. And it was, you know, just really interesting uh, to see it. So we snapped a few pics. Um, now I am going through my papers. This was a paper pad I got years ago um, that is very ocean themed, so I thought it was appropriate to um, use for this project. And I pick out this page, it's mostly blue, and then it's got these teeny tiny little fish. Um, I think they're supposed to be sharks, as you can see the shark down there in the bottom right hand corner. Um, I don't really like the shark, I end up covering it up, but I do like the colors in this page. Um, so I decide that I want to use this cut file that came from Paige Evans. Um, I get it in her newsletter, her email newsletter. I think it's either every week or every other week. Um, she often sends a free cut file, so I highly encourage you to uh, sign up if you have not done so. Um, but as you can see, it's a bunch of ocean critters and shells, and I thought that was perfect to use. Um, so I backed that, I cut it and backed it. Um, and if you are somebody who uh, does their own cut files often, uh, let me know what kind of cardstock you use, because I've found, um, I had to cut this twice actually, because I used cardstock that was too thin, and my Cricut ripped it. So um, let me know what you use. And I'm mounting my papers on, or I'm sorry, my photos on this, um, it's a realistic, photorealistic jellyfish uh, piece, which I like all the colors in it, but I, I'm not a, it really into photorealistic paper. So it worked well to use, I backed um, the starfish, <clears throat> excuse me, in it, and using it for some mats for my photos. Now my photos ended up being about three by three. Um, originally they were four by four. I actually really like how the smaller photos turned out, especially with such a large um, cut file here as well. Now in this paper pad, I also have some uh, little photo cards, journaling cards, and I've cut them apart already and decided, you know, I'm. I want to use these, I can use them for whatever I want, and I pull out one that is like this red coral um, with some journaling lines on it. And this one, I end up cutting it a little bit funky, but once I, um, you know, actually stick it in with my photos, I really think it works out and you can't really tell that it's maybe not as well cut as it could have been. <laughs> um, but again, I ultimately like how it turns out, so that is what matters to me. Now when I stick down my cut file, in order to put all the backing on, I used my teeny tiny, you know, like needle nose bottle of glue. Um, now that my cut file is dry, I am using um, double sided tape on all of the big pieces except for um, the shell that I used vellum on. I don't want my tape to show through. So that one is just floating. Um, and at first I do not glue down the little, um, the little vines like seaweed um, and I do that intentionally because I one want to arrange my photos and be able to move them and everything um, but also if I don't glue down each individual little leaf um, I think it just gives some nice texture um, and same thing with using the double-sided tape rather than putting adhesive all over the back of the cut file I think it just gives the whole thing a little more texture um, which adds to the page in my opinion uh, so that is why I do that and if you look closely that is why things are kind of coming off the page a little bit and you know what I like it so I just do a little bit of journaling in that box and I you know write about how we saw this jellyfish and we didn't get close to it of course because even after um, the jellyfish is dead it can still sting you so um, we stayed away but man it was really neat to see all the colors in this jellyfish and how long its tentacles were and it was just really neat. Um, so I'm finishing up, you can see I just add a couple little dots of glue to my um, little seaweeds vines there and uh, cut off the excess that was going off the page. And now I'm thinking, okay, 
I know this is a busy layout. There's already a lot going on with the big cut file, um, but I do want to add something more and obviously I need a title. I have these um, puffy thickers, which I really like. Um, they're called Coastline and they've got the kind of iridescent, you know, kind of mermaid or holographic, I suppose, top to them. And then the foam that they're on is pink. Uh, so it's like a subtle, you know, just a little subtle something else. Um, and I really like them. Honestly, I think they came from Walmart, which is even better. Um, so I spell out Man of War. Um, and I use a little, actually it's a period that I use as my little apostrophe on the O. Um, I put them on my acrylic stamping block. I've got quite a few acrylic stamping blocks that I've collected over the years. Um, and this gigantic one uh, doesn't get used very often. But you know what? I've been seeing a lot of uh, people stick their stickers on there before they use them. Um, which is actually extremely helpful. So um, I've started using mine for that. Um, so now I have Man of War. It's my title. I don't want too much going on. I thought about getting out washi tape and I decided no I want to use my blue uh, color shine. The exact color is ocean. How convenient. Um, to kind of make um, splatters and then in the style I've kind of thinking of like like bubbles in the ocean um, since I've got my critters down there at the bottom. That was like my my thought process, my inspiration. I also grab um, my Dance It Out Spiegel Mom Scraps sequin mix and I put a few of them around. Again, just adding more texture and interest um, as I am uh, finishing up my layout. I don't want to over embellish because as I've said many times before, there is a lot going on on this layout. Um, and I don't want to take away from my cool cut file or my uh, really neat little pictures. Um, so I'm just sticking those down real quick. Um, and I don't decide to add anything else to my layout. Um, I know it's a little naked up there at the top, but I actually think it works really well for this. And I like how it turns out. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.